Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Peter. Before I start, I just want to say a massive thank you to EHF uh, for inviting us into this community and to everyone here for, uh, for welcoming us. Uh, my name is Peter. This is Bex, and we are the co-founders of Anteater. Anteater is a Christchurch-based uh, startup which wholesales edible insects uh, to high-end restaurants and chefs. Thank you. Um, we're working to mainstream the idea of edible insects as a food group and potentially as well uh, as a viable alternative to conventionally farmed meat. Now, I'm just hoping I haven't made a mistake in giving Peter control of the slides here. Good. So uh, most of you have probably heard something about the edible insect industry overseas by this point. Um, if you have, you've probably heard of this product. Uh, this is cricket powder, sometimes also known as cricket flour. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a, it's a pulverized cricket product um, that's used in supplements uh, kind of like these. <laughs> Um, so you may have seen some of these in your retail supermarkets and your health food stores. These are uh, protein bars, shakes, chips, that sort of thing, with a small amount of cricket powder in them. This is not what Anteater does. <laughs> this is what Anteater does. So we do high-end food. We're business to business. We are producers and wholesalers. We sell directly to the best chefs in New Zealand. These are guys who are competing at an international level. We have hoo-hoo grubs, of course, which are harvested for us uh, on the west coast of the South Island. Uh, we, uh, they taste a little bit like pine nuts, if you haven't tried them before. We have uh, a native locust here in New Zealand. Uh, these are farmed for us in Otago. They taste a little bit like, uh, people say, freshwater prawns. Some people say uh, even like a potato chip. Uh, and these are our lemongrass ants, uh, which uh, they're not your average garden ant. Um, <laughs> They're harvested, wild harvested by myself in the valleys of the Port Hills in Canterbury. Uh, chefs love them for their incredibly unique natural flavour, which they describe as kaffir, lime and lemongrass with a mild blue cheese aftertaste. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, that's not just some kind of sales spiel, that came straight from a, a chef's mouth. Um, their flavour makes them ideal as a garnish on, on high-end dishes and also as a flavouring. Now, I confess that I did not grow up expecting to sell bugs for a living. Uh, my background's actually in logistics and operations. I spent about 10 years uh, running rock and roll venues and uh, running technical teams for large-scale events like this, uh, the Laureus Sports Awards. But in 2016, I decided to go back to grad school and study business. And while I was there, I ended up at a young entrepreneurs event called Startup Weekend, uh, which is where I met Peter. Peter got up in front of a room full of people and earnestly pitched the idea of bugs as food, and I thought he was a crazy person. Um, but we had quite a good dynamic. I thought it would be a bit of fun, and it was just meant to be a weekend project. So I thought, why not? We'll give it a shot. And then, well... <laughs> it's become our life. <laughs> spent about four years working in a seaweed business uh, down in Christchurch or Akaroa Harbour um, for the locals here. Uh, I'm a bit of an all-rounder, so I was involved in every step of the value chain in creating products like kelp pepper. Has anyone tried it out of interest? Oh, cool, yeah. awesome. Um, uh, which is also used as a garnish in the food industry. Um, I quit that job completely blind, having no idea what I was going to do. Uh, I, um, I just knew I needed something with more learning and more autonomy. Uh, by the time I, uh, uh, Antita, by the time I met Bex at Startup Weekend, there was just one week left on my notice period, so uh, there was a bit of pressure on. Uh, some of you might be wondering though, why why are we doing all of this? If we want to solve climate change, we've got to change the way we think <laughs> about protein. Sorry, bug puns are a big part of the business model. Yeah. So, If you have any bug puns, feel, feel free to come and talk to us in the break and, uh, and share them. <laughs> We've got a running list. This is the real reason. Insects require 10 times less feed than beef to produce the same amount of food, 1,500 times less water, and about 100 times fewer emissions than conventionally farmed beef. 
There's also some pretty great health stats around insects. Uh, some species, in fact, have more protein than steak, more omega fatty acids than salmon, and more calcium than milk. But the New Zealand market is small, of course. We're only four and a half million people. Uh, so our focus domestically is on scale. Uh, we're also working to find, uh, to get export ready, figure out which uh, export markets we need to get into and the best product market fit. This is our long-term vision. Our long-term vision is a viable insect-based alternative to conventionally farmed meat. This patty, for example, is actually made from mealworms and it's been sold in Swiss supermarkets right now. So yeah, we're working on some exciting projects to scale up production. Oh, sorry, we take ourselves very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're working to scale up production domestically. We've actually got a, a farming project in development over the next three years to try and get hoo-hoos to scale operating for a, for a real proper food source that we can use as a protein uh, substitute. So that's what we're up to at the moment. Uh, we're super excited to help our international fellows settle into New Zealand and looking forward to leverage some of the amazing contacts in this room to see how we can maximize anteaters potential both here and overseas. Thank so, you very thank much. You.